this time around, we are not going to be getting just the uh, Fishing Master PK versus, you know, Vig's uh, standard play. We are going to be seeing the Vig Dan, you know, the Ho Dan coming out, Monkey versus Fish. I, I, don't, I don't really know how this one's going to be working out. Like, we've been seeing some wild stuff from the monkeys lately. So, you know, we got two characters that can absolutely give us something interesting. And I'm super excited to see how this one works out. All right, and where are we going first? Is it going to be Merchant Port? All right. Okay, Swampy Estuary start. And the immediate charged uh, Sweat Spirit coming out from Vig. And Okay, well, one of the big things that Shovel Knight usually struggles with early is the neutral but pk just going straight in and it doesn't even seem to matter for them right here all right and okay okay well these up airs are do covering a lot of space and doing a lot here oh just barely not getting the down tilted uh charge up e from big the up strong going to catch it but the tech on board perfect timing from uh from PK, but not going to be able to come back. And Vig off to a great start, just grabbing the Sweat Spirit. Oh my god. You get a little bit dizzy with that one, but, you know, throwing so much damage onto PK right now. And Vig's in such a good position here. All right, and Charge Fair, really great start for Vig on this second stock. So much extra credit already. 64% and counting. The real big question of how PK is going to be getting back into this game really looks like they need that fishing on deck. All right, and yeah, another up strong. Wait, oh my god, I did not expect that F strong to be towards that side. Like, I got, completely got mixed up there. But either way, you know, big in such a good position right now you know pk finally has a momentum mail on board but i feel like it might be too little too late he's already looking for some monkey flip shenanigans here but oh my god i don't ever see that side be that neutral be used from uh from any hodan really and fig more than happy to show us that hey it's very usable it's very strong and <laughs> I, I don't know about that monkey flip. <laughs> Vig is absolutely dead. <laughs> okay. But yeah, either way, you know, Vig sitting, uh, like, charging down, looking for that splash kick into the charge up B. But, oh my god. You know, PK finally has that late game Shovel Knight, but too little, too late. Not going to be able to take another stock there. And Vig starting off with a very, very powerful looking Hodan. All right, and now the question is, what do you ban here? Like, you, you want to go to Aramana. You want to go to Spe I feel like Vig just banned all the stages that are good for Hodan. But either way, gonna be going straight to Trouble Pond. You know, Shovel Knight's home stage, already a good start for PK, for Fishing Master PK here. But no fishing on board. Oh, there, there we go. You know, a little commentator's curse. But PK needs to find a way how to get back onto stage here. The char the charge Sweat Spirits. Oh my God. Covering so much space. Just barely able to sneak on with that upbeat finally from PK. But, you know, Vig's doing a great job of covering that ledge whenever PK does get off stage, which is really big. Oh! Oh my god, splash kick into double flip, you know, just gonna get the monkey flip straight into the upbeat. But either way, beautiful stuff. Alright, so looking for the splash kick. Oh my god, getting the splash kick off of the Infinite Dagger too. And oh, we've seen this time and time again. Vig just setting up the charge sweat spirits to cover the uppie. Just like that. Alright, there's this big question of, you know, like, how does PK actually seal out these stocks? Like, PK doing so much damage early on, but I don't know. I feel like PK is just kind of stuck at ledge, you know, mm -hmm. all yeah. the time. And Vig 
Vic's stocks, sock losses tend to really come from... Oh my god. Vic's sock losses come from SDs, but PK sock losses come from Vic doing monkey things, it seems. <laughs> yeah, it's just hard with the big hitbox this whole gun has. Absolutely. And you know, that up air, definitely one of them, but... You know, Vig's just showing some complete dominance with this monkey. Only momentum mail on board for PK. Still not rich enough to buy anything else. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. You know, just going for the uppy. Uncharged. No EX uppy needed. Still getting a decent bit of damage off. And oh, shoot. I feel like that was absolutely supposed to be a down angle charged uppy. But oh, with the charge that's... side B, not going to be able to do it just yet. Sneaking right back onto stage. PK getting the gear, so he, de uh, he might have a bit of a chance to like, have a, a bit of space. Especially mm -hmm. on the stage. Uh, on Trooper. But um, big going for a lot of projectile pressure with the side B. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, and okay, you know, we got the flip. We're oh, oh my god. Oh my god, why? I, <laughs> Beautiful I, stuff coming out from PK, able to punish the monkey flip. But, you know, Vig is absolutely just going for the down B uh, cancel into up B. Like we we all know it. We all know what's what what he's yeah. looking for. But he uh, wants it. He wants it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the splash kick kills. <laughs> Hold on, moment. I hate oh, it. moment. It's monkey. <laughs> Tr truly. Like, there really is no better uh, representation for a monkey here. <laughs> like, dear God. Yeah. All right, and straight to Jules Vale. Like, I mean, we're going from Shovel, Shovel Knight's home stage to Jules Vale, mm -hmm. one of Shovel Knight's best stages, I think. So, I don't know. Like, this one's starting off even worse for PK this time around, Vig is just absolutely running over him. Even in the early stages, but okay, well, you know what? If, if PK winning early was what led to PK getting uh, kind of sliced in the first two games, maybe uh, maybe PK losing early is the way for PK to make that comeback. Yeah, it's hard to say. He just has to get his stuff very early on. Mm -hmm. Because, like, like, without... Yeah, oh, like, this should be a uh, fish. This should be momentum mail yeah. money. Yeah. Without his gear and stuff, he he's just dying at five and can't even keep up and move. Oh, him. wait. Oh. Beautiful string from PK. <laughs> Almost able to seal into a kill, but the back air one into charge uppy. Dear God. <laughs> this move. Like, charge up you don't get me wrong. Like, there's a lot of setups into charge up that are not true, that are mostly just, you know, cheese. Like, pe people are getting hit by splash kick up all the time, yeah. where you can just DI out on the splash kick. You can DI out on the down tilt. You know, you can DI up on, you know, the normal up tilt, etc., etc. But that bear one into charge up is just straight up true. Oh, yeah, true. A lot of the setups are also just like people being unfamiliar you know, mm -hmm. with Hodan, but still, if you just like jump above him once and he gets that up, you you die at like 80. So... Yeah, you know, speaking of 80, you know, PK <laughs> sitting at 80% on the second stock despite getting a full build early on. Voting not well for him here, but either way, you know, Vig has to find a way to get back onto the stage. I think this might be fine. Oh my fine. god, the Sweat Spirits in Dude. exactly the right places in Vig. More than half to sneak back on and no Uppy just yet. Oh, oh my nice god. PK getting a parry. He might have... All right. Uh, yeah. I mean, like, there was a good parry coming out from PK. It's yeah. a question of uh, just how much you can really get off of it, though. You know, this is still 173% on this monkey, and the reverse oh. jab into Dare going to take it. Not his. Yeah, beautiful stuff coming out from PK. But 140% is nothing to scoff at. He needs to figure out a way how to get one of those classic like, Shovel Knight, you know, kill combos on this monkey. And, you know, oh, wait. I feel like that was a little bit of, like, a visual bug, I don't know, just kind of like move bouncing up and down on the gear. But either way, you know, able to continue to rack up this damage, able to yeah. continue to do as much as he can to this Hodan. Yeah. 
doing pretty well again after all of the first half of the game. Mm -hmm. Like, oh. you can see he really... He... Hoden is a kill percent right now. I, I'm i daring to call the game even. Oh know? my I god. He has to leave now. <laughs> Yeah, you know, dare dare to believe, dare to dream, and it seems like losing early is in fact the uh, secret for this set so far. 178% and no charge upbeat coming out oh. just yet, but the splash kick going to be killing right off the top. All right, but we do got the sweat spirits everywhere. So PK has to be like, has to be vigilant about things like the charge sweat spirits, like the charge neutral B, but Either way, with this much damage on the Hodon, and the downer going to be able to snipe out the EX up B. Can Vig make it back? Beautiful monkey flip, cancel. Yeah, you can see PK is just much more comfortable now with all of his mm -hmm. gear and that he has all of his stuff without being in the. without losing all the time, right? So, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, but just like that, you know, we've seen this time and time again. Hodan just needs one opening, but not quite able to get it with that yeah. monkey flip oh, into the up oh, oh, oh my god! The up strong <laughs> block going to go an immediate what? spike right I, off the side. I've, I've never seen that before, and I've seen a lot of Shovel Knight shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've seen, I've seen, you know, the up strong spike, but I've never seen it just kind of chilling at the apex, giving that strong of a spike. You, you know, if it's moving down at all, it yeah. is spiking. It can't... So either way, going straight to Hodon's home stage. Oh, what a beautiful stage! Yeah. It was such a, a pretty stage. Mm -hmm. the, he, Hodon just has the stage, and then his gameplay, is, like the stage is so beautiful, <laughs> and then his gameplay is just, you know. The his monkey. gameplay, his gameplay is glue and a half. <laughs> oh god! Like you, you could tell me that all the snow on the stage is secretly glue, but oh my god! And the splash kick into monkey flip, up the oh lord, dear god! And, you know, beautiful stuff coming out from Big here. Don't don't get me wrong, but like th this monkey is terrifying to play into. Yeah, playing against him. Monkey is very terrifying because you always feel like you can die at any percent. But the same thing actually goes for Shovel Knight with these strings, as you can see. Mm -hmm. like, as I mean, see. oh, and be able to catch the charge oh. DI coming out, and just like that, PK has enough for momentum mail and not quite. Uh, actually, ha should have enough for full build here, I think. So, at 18. No, able to get uh to get here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Immediately goes for it. We yeah, you don't, you like... don't want to just sit there without mm -hmm. a projectile against Toadan because uh, he's <laughs> the, the sweat spirits, you know? Yeah, the sweaty boys absolutely is going to make life miserable for you if you're not ready. Yeah, absolutely. All right, but either way, you know, PK, we've seen this before. Uh, once PK does have oh, that my. full, oh my god, oh my. I was gonna say once PK has full build we, We've seen PK kind of run away with these yeah. but the EX up gonna go straight through that down air and PK is an, uh, off to a bad start on this last stock Yeah, true. He has to find this kill. I think in rivals especially uh, Oh, no, uh, a lead just a lead doesn't mean too much if you have mm -hmm. a percent lead, but if you have to stock lead, then it's huge, right? Absolutely. Because you can just take 60 off of one combo. And oh, speaking of which. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, speaking of which, you know, we, we're, we're getting a few things, a few signs of life from PK here. You know, trying to figure out a way how to get back at this monkey, how to get this stock. Oh my god, you know, that charge fair is so big, though. Yeah, it's so big. Uh, I do think you have to kind of go for the wall attack here to maybe recover, but even then it's hard. Oh, and the down tilt oh charge god. fair going to be able to take it. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sure PK <laughs> thought that it was going to be down tilt charge up B and absolutely got mixed up on that. You know, it is a 50-50. It is really rough to DI sometimes, but yeah, you know, big. Once again, going up three to one over PK here. Mm -hmm. And PK going to the Molo stage. Which, 
so I'm not even gonna lie, I have no idea what the stage is named. I've played on it like twice and it's so distracting for me. I cannot uh, deal with the background moving like this. <laughs> oh, that, that makes sense. Did you realize that the Loxodon tower in the background just doesn't rotate? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Uh, I, I, I guess PK. PK. Yeah, I, I guess PK just realized as well and didn't want to have anything to deal with that. <laughs> yeah, he, he he didn't want it. He he was like, no, I I don't like the stage anymore. Yeah, you know, I don't want to live on a stage with Loxus on. But either way, you know, PK trying to get that oh. kill and able to nab it. And you know, it seems like Big also not a big fan of Loxus on here. Yeah. But either way, uh, ten to eleven percent, you know, has not been more even in any bit of these sets so far very true but you can't forget that pk uh doesn't have his full equip he does have his momentum made which i think mm -hmm. is way more important because he doesn't die at 30 he dies at yeah. 60 instead but but 30 percent is huge absolutely you know? you know that that momentum mail uh changing the weight is actually so huge not only changes you know the percent that you're going to be getting killed at but also changes the way how combo routes work on this character also, but also gives you a few more um mm -hmm. options to kill like hydroplane up smashes oh absolutely better. yeah 118 percent we could start looking for things like that dash attack hydroplane up smash mm -hmm. or you know those down tilt chains but either way you know pk getting close to full build here but we have that splash kick no ex uppy just yet all right, and both of these, but... both of these players are just looking for a kill right now. Yeah, for sure. Oh, PK getting the full build, actually, which which makes him kind of comfortable again. And oh getting the gear up smash. <laughs> I, I love the gear up smash. It looks so janky. The, the Sean yeah. just driving to you with this up smash. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. Every second of it. But oh, either way, oh, the down oh, air the into tech. the fishing. Nice. Tech on board for Vig, yeah. but 100% here. Oh, and counting. That's, no sweat spirits and the dare go. straight to the bottom. That was a, yeah, that was a nice dare. Oh god, this ain't, this ain't a train rail. This is a monorail and PK is the only one who can stay on it. And I uh, like... Just, just like that, PK is showing us, hey, you know what? I can bring it back. I can do this. And going straight to trouble, I feel like, you know, this was PK's counterpick earlier, but it worked out yeah. so well for Vig the last time. That's true. I, I guess he just still feels comfortable again uh, mm -hmm. after a bit of momentum. Also going... Oh, oh my god. Not, that was a nice thing. But also fishing right at the start of the game, which I think he's realized that without gear, he can't really do a lot. Oh, absolutely. But, you know, we've already seeing a lot of stuff coming out, even without the gear just yet. But, mm -hmm. you know, PK fishing unperturbed in his own element. Uh, PK and fishing. Name a better duo. I wait. <laughs> going fishing again. And, you know, that's the PK classic. All right, but you know, 2,800 gold. This is you know, about 400 off of where PK wants to be. All right, there's one. Oh, nice. There's two. Okay, there we go. Nice. Perfect. Also, with that lead, this is huge for PK. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're seeing the adaptation coming out, and Vig struggling to keep up 100% on the second stock already. PK already looking to lap. Uh, oh, beautiful parry, but the down strong actually still not going to be able to do it. I mean, like, you kind of just need the F strong at that oh point, right? God. With Missed the EX being the just barely gonna miss. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think gonna hurt. it's very desperate for this kid, as you might be able to tell. He thinks he needs it. With mm -hmm. two but really that was actually, that was also really interesting. Uh, even if you do parry the up, he, uh still going to be able to grab the sweat spears, oh, but beautiful nice coming out from Vig. Ah, uh, the second F smash going to take it though. Mm -hmm. oh, second and F smash. PK with a huge lead at this point. It's yeah, humongous really lead, but if there's anything that we've seen these monkeys do, it is steal games. But either way, you know, Vig just needs one big hit to take this stock, and then the next stock, who knows? You know, we could get some monkey business going. 
but 190 percent and oh, charge man. fair still not even close to killing oh. with proper di but with <laughs> improper di absolutely gonna scary. take it <laughs> oh and oh my god why did he do that <laughs> Yeah, and, you know, we got that charge neutral B coming out from Vic here. I mean, like, I feel like if you just get barely before the full charge, it's actually a pretty solid move. But uh, right before that, it's a little bit rough. But we're getting the strings coming out. We're starting something fierce. Yeah. And Vig showing signs of life yet again. Oh, With the charge the, up the, strong the rock, yeah, he's going to take it. That was beautiful. Beautiful shovel night. The gameplay, the gear into up smash rock. Yeah, and PK going to be tying everything right back up at 3-3. Three to three. You know, we got at least two more games to work with. Could be more. Uh, but we've, we've absolutely seen some beautiful adaptation coming out from PK here. And going over to Merchant Court, it feels like... It feels like Vig's just kind of going back to the old stages that he won on, but it's not working out for him. Yeah... I think he's struggling with counter picks uh, again, which oh, hold on. is fine, especially uh, especially because like the charts are very new. I think it's still hard to tell on what mm -hmm. stages uh, and in what matchups of certain stages are good on. And oh, beautiful tech it. coming out though. It's, yeah, that was a really nice tag. Yeah, and you, we got the charged Sweat Spirits on board. Yeah, there's three of them available. The Upstrong not quite going to do it. Hodan a bit heavier than you might have expected here, PK. But either way, we got the landing Nair into the Splash Shake into yet another Nair. And we got more charged Sweat Spirits on the board. So yeah. hard for Shovel Knight to make it through these. Yeah, but, but oh. he does it and he fishes with... Which is again, he has almost you have 4,800. <laughs> oh my god, PK, you PK don't need that it. much. PK is oh my lord, PK is oh, absolutely so going to die for that, completely deserved. Uh, <laughs> but either way, 2300 still, PK has enough to buy a dynamo mail oh, uh, in the middle of it if he truly wants to. Either that, PK is still fishing. <laughs> I think at this point he just wants to get into a big mental and it's just kind of. Mm -hmm. It's just. I mean, either way. Yeah, you're, you're on Merchant Port. You gotta get that fish. Gotta get that money. Yeah. Gotta, gotta get on that Sigma grind set. PK yeah. is absolutely thriving as far as money is concerned. But as far as percents concerned, definitely not slacking over there either. Oh, you're doing sure. so much damage, and oh, Vig is in trouble. Oh, oh my god! And fishes That's... again! And fishes again! Oh my lord! <laughs> yeah, I will... Dan <laughs> added golden armor as like the most BM possible thing in the game, but I feel like we found something more BM. Which I think PK is trying to buy every single piece of armor and relic yeah, in this he, game. He oh trolling. my god, Yo, PK! Let's go, PK! Actually, does it. Uh, oh know, it, Jesus! It, it, if he loses this game, he's going to look like a clown, and I hope he knows that. I I hope I I now hope that PK loses this game. <laughs> oh, oh baby, and oh, here's how it starts. It's starting. It's starting. Oh, and I, I I hate this guy. <laughs> I don't know about the Dizzy. Like, Dizzy is, like, rel basically never worth it. But, you know, PK caught between a towel and a hard place. Oh, yeah. I think a charged up B would have killed after that monkey flip, but it's fine. Probably just didn't want to go for it. Probably and... didn't want to go for it because, you know, if PK does end up DIing it properly, you know, that is basically the end of this set. And there's still yeah. oh. a chance for Vic oh. here. Oh! Oh, and the rock is a does it i didn't know that that neither that's, did i <laughs> that's straight crazy. through the ex but oh he, wow he can really showing his adaptation i think he won like three games in a row right didn't he not, not sure but he definitely did win a lot of games in a row so he, he showing that he got the momentum and is trying mm -hmm. to get as far as possible with it you know yeah i mean like either way that was a really great way how to like I, I mean like pk is absolutely thriving now you know definitely got that adaptation down was... the question of what does vig do now right you know Vig yeah. seem to 
may be making that comeback after PK decided to throw away <laughs> that momentum mail to go for every single thing on the market. But uh, just like that, you know, Vig starting off oh, strong. No. We've seen yeah. this one before. It's starting off very strong. Uh, PK getting the parry though, uh, not getting too much out of it, but it's fine. Yeah, not necessarily getting too much out of it, but that landing oh. nair into oh my god, the landing nair nearly oh. immediately into the monkey flip into the e ex up e, just like that. Big is finally back in the lead where he wants to be. Yeah, for sure, especially with our PK doesn't have any of his stuff, which means he's probably feeling very uncomfortable right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, PK, you've had your fun. It is time for the year of the monkey. And Hodan absolutely doing it here. Doing a lot of damage. Like, racking up everything needed. But, you know, going to be punishing that landing near this time around. No dizzy on the neutral B. And uh, we're seeing some adaptations from, from Vig here that we yeah. haven't seen in the previous games. And I think we're seeing PK getting a little desperate. I think he went for, like three smash attacks in a row. Yeah, but you know, that's 103% uh, on this monkey, nothing to scoff at. No charged sweat spirits on board, just mm -hmm. single sweat spirit. You know, we need yeah. that level two uh, in order to get past that Shovel Knight. And PK getting back to fishing, he is got called Fisherman in u -Cod for a reason. <laughs> what can I say? It is the Fishing Master PK, but either way. Yeah, give a man a fish. Yeah, he, you feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, he turns out to play Shovel Knight. Uh, <laughs> I was spitting on that one. Yeah, and but no tech. Fishing for that F smash. Yeah, fishing for the F smash. Gonna be getting it and no tech from Vig here. You know, gotta figure out a way how to steal this stock. That's a lot of Sweat Spirits on board, but no actual uh, EX upbeat just yet. You know, looking for the up strong, but just like yeah. that, PK is now at full build, and Vig needs to find a way how to oh. do this. Oh, just barely missing out, but not yeah. gonna be missing out on that one. Well, what's actually interesting about Vig Sony is he goes for way more upstrums than I'm used to seeing. Mm -hmm. it, it's actually with I. Oh, uh, what? Like... Oh okay. my god, PK gonna be teching out of that neutral B uh, <laughs> into the immediate F tilts and punishing Vig on hit. Yeah, that, you know, that, that rock was placement was beautiful. All right, either way, you know, big off to with a lot oh, of momentum oh, here. Oh, oh shit, PK. Oh, oh shoot! Oh no! Oh, no. Oh, no. What, what an unfortunate ending to the set. But yeah, PK really taking the momentum he got to the complete set, to take the set, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, it's not an unfortunate way for that set to end up. Mm -hmm. But either way, great stuff to PK. We saw some beautiful adaptation coming out. But either way, you know, Vig, great stuff on the Hodan. You know, we've seen a lot of monkeys and all of them play completely differently. And I'm super happy to see that different kind of play coming yeah. out. You know, we're seeing different play styles, different, uh, yeah. like, d different play styles, different types and all that stuff. It it's great. I think Hoden is one of those characters in Rise where you can really see the different personalities or like the different play styles, not personalities, 